Hey guys, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. This time I have something very nice for you. We are going to install Grafana on Ubuntu server 18.04 on AWS EC2. Uh, Grafana is a very popular monitoring slash dashboarding software. So it interfaces with a lot of different monitoring solutions like Zabbix and it allows you to create uh, very nice, very detailed dashboards about, about anything, what you can imagine in IT uh, monitoring. You can track your AWS cost, you can track your server performance, etc., etc. It's a very powerful tool and after the last video where we uh, covered how to install Zabbix, we are going now to install um, Grafana and we also use AWS EC2 free tier for that. So if you run EC2 or if you run AWS, you can very easily install Grafana on a very low scale T3 nano server in there and have a very low cost monitoring solution. Of course, if you have to monitor a lot of servers, it gets more expensive, but just to get started, it's a very cheap solution on how to manage your cloud instances. Okay, so without further ado, let's log in to Amazon EC2. And by the way, you can also use this tutorial for a normal uh, local Ubuntu server 18.04. It doesn't matter if it's in AWS or if it's on your local network, you can use the same procedure to install it. I will just go through the initial process of creating an EC2 instance that you can see that I use a very uh, low scale server and uh, that we cover the whole process. So go to running instances or go to launch instance directly and then select Ubuntu server 18.04 LTS. And now because I'm still on the free tier or I'm still eligible for free tier, I'm gonna choose free tier. Um, if I would be out of the 12 months period, I would choose even T2 Nano or T3 uh, Nano for this purpose. Actually, I would choose T3 Nano if I'm out of the evaluation process because it allows you to burst over the uh, CPU limit. So in case your <clears throat> instance would need more performance at some points and has some peaks, it would automatically go over this threshold with T3 and it's in general it's a little bit uh, cheaper and definitely Nano would be enough. But as I said, if you're still on the free tier, just uh, take the T2 Micro for now. Click on Next to configure the instance details and then uh, select whatever you have to do here, uh, which are your subnet settings. And we are going to leave everything on default because I'm gonna delete the instance anyway again after that. So we can uh, leave everything here as it is click on next add storage so 8 gigabytes is plenty of space and as you know on AWS uh, EC2 on newer instances you can always extend your volumes but you cannot shrink them so you can very easily add more space to your server but you can really not shrink them so I recommend you to uh, always start on the low end and figure out how much space you need read up on the documentation but definitely i know that for a fact that eight gigabytes for grafana is plenty you could even go lower than that to start off but let's uh, let's just leave it on that click on next add tags we don't need uh, any tags now click next security groups and i'm gonna simply uh, select my default security group that i have created earlier and click on review and launch and double check if everything is fine and then simply click on launch and you will get asked for a key pair and I already have created a key pair so I'm gonna choose that acknowledge that you have access to the key pair of course click on create instance and now it will take a couple of minutes or seconds until this comes up and we just wait for that time. it literally took 15 seconds for this instance to come up. So this was really fast. So I'm gonna select the instance. I'm gonna copy the IP address and I am going to open PuTTY. I'm loading some other server that I had in there and I just paste this IP, which should be perfectly fine. And I should be able to connect to it. Yes. And log in with the default credentials. And you can see it's a uh, fresh server here. 
everything is new and fresh. So uh, you can see uh, baseline is 13% of the 8 gigabytes that we have are used and Grafana will not take much, uh, will not take up much at all. So I'm gonna clear the screen in here that you can see that better. And uh, also I am going to test something else. First we wanna run uh, sudo apt get update for sure to have everything updated and then uh, the next thing is we need to download the Grafana um, the Grafana release the Debian package I'm just gonna copy the link from here and you have to always make sure that you are on the latest version uh, let me quickly paste it so the command is sudo wget and then this IP address and you should always make sure that uh, you download the latest version. So what you can do is you can just copy that portion of the command, which I will do in the other, on my other screen right now. I'm going to show you how to check if it's the latest version. So you just copy that, you paste it, I think it's release, yes. slash oh, this is not gonna work like this let's see where we can find that oh no it was actually a different link here copy link location I posted in the description below let's pull that up yeah and here yeah exactly this was the page sorry I, I was on the wrong page there for a second and uh, this is the package you want to check that this link basically it's Ubuntu and Debian. So you can see 524, which is the exact version that we have just pasted in here. So always make sure that you are on the latest version. As I said, I put it in the description of the video so you can check it here before you actually download it. Okay, just wanted to make sure you got that and then you just W get it and it will take a couple of seconds. The AWS servers are pretty fast to download stuff and we have it downloaded so let's clear <coughs> clear the screen and now we're gonna um, add a user so sudo apt get or actually we install something first install tag y and add user lib font config now it's downloading more stuff Good, we got that and then we're gonna install the uh, repository app get uh, sorry sudo epkg i grafana that's what we downloaded you can just hit tab to autocomplete and then we need to run or to modify actually the sources list before so once you have that, you go sudo nano atc etc uh, apt sources uh, list <clears throat> and we open that and then we need to find, let me check which one was it, we need to add a line to the bottom of this, uh, to the bottom of this file. So you just go ahead and go all the way to the bottom using your uh, arrow keys and then you paste the line on the bottom which is the grafana stable repository which we are going to need and i'm gonna also make a hashtag here and just for good measure um right here grafana repo i put the link in the description below as well and uh, by the way, I'm reading it from my uh, written article that I already wrote before. So uh, I will link that in the description too, so you can just copy and paste everything. Okay, press Ctrl and O to save and press Ctrl and X to leave the file again. Okay, so we have that added and then we're going to run curl. I'm gonna paste that command here for you, which is curl package cloud IO and we need to download a key and install it and it's exactly done like this and then we run sudo app get update now it's pulling all the new stuff we just added there and we run sudo app get install and now we can should be if we 
there are a lot of things with GRA. So apt, sudo apt get install Grafana. But you can see that now we have Grafana available and it's actually already installed with uh, a previous command that we were running. So this is fine. This is basically just a double check if it's already installed. If you can see here, we can do that again. And uh, it tells you that Grafana is already on the newest version 5.2.4, which it installed through the command that we run previously. Okay, next step. Now we are going to start the Grafana server and we're also going to add it to auto start. So run sudo service Grafana server start to start the server and then run sudo update update come on update rcd grafana server defaults do we have sudo unable to read oh typo grafana server of course then sudo system ctl and enable grafana server service and to add it to auto start okay and believe it or not but we are almost done with our installation now we can go ahead and i need to grab this ip address once more where is it where is it where is it so now copy the ip address of your server whatever that might be and paste it with http in front of it into your browser with uh, double point and 3000 to add the port 3000 on the end and you will see that you are now already on your Grafana login screen and the default login what was the default login it was admin admin both with small letters and the first thing you get is a prompt to be to enter a new password so enter a new safe password first that's what you should do anyway okay my password is too short choose a different one always choose a safe password I always choose lazy passwords for uh, my tutorials that's actually already it we we are basically done with the basic uh, the basic Grafana installation and we can now go ahead and add data sources uh, data sources this will be the topic for the next video in the meanwhile you can look up the official Grafana documentation which I will also leave in the description below for you so you can play around a bit with it already but as you can see Grafana is working and I think it took us less than 10 minutes if I wouldn't talk that much around all the stuff and just go through the tutorial it would have been a pretty straightforward and pretty pretty fast process it's really easy to update and uh, maintain it also and once you get the hang of it how to add uh, data sources and dashboards which, uh, which all of it I will explain to you in future videos uh, then you will see that Grafana is a wonderful tool of how to create dashboards and how to monitor your devices with very very pretty graphs and statistics okay guys this concludes this video if you liked it as always give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel to support me and keep enabling me to produce new videos for you guys and see you in the next one thanks for watching